Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 357. Uh, each week we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, SEO Questions uh, uh, group on uh, Facebook. Um, with us tonight we have uh, Tim Kappa. Uh, Tim um, is um, the CEO of OnlineOwnership.com um, and um, he's also a Google product expert on the Google My Business uh, community. Tim is based in Corby, about 100 miles north of uh, London. Um, in London, um, um, Wimbledon uh, is uh, uh, Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he's um, uh, also a Google product expert on the uh, AdSense uh, community. David Razam is um, CEO of um, Shimolian Marketing. Um, you can find David uh, at uh, davidrosam.com. Uh, he's a leading internet publisher based in West Sussex um, in the uh, sunny side of England, if, if, if there is such a thing. Um, no, not really, David. <laughs> no, no, no. There, there, there are small breaks in the greyness out there, but it doesn't qualify as sunny. Yeah. Now, have I missed anybody? I haven't, have I? Oh, I don't know. Goodness me. All right. So, so we have six questions tonight. Um, the first question uh, uh, is titled uh, Tracking the Keyword Rank of a Specific Page. Somebody. Uh, okay. Jason Fall, uh, Falls asks Does anyone know any tools that actually track? Um, the keyword rank of a specific page and not the home page. Um, yes, um, there's Google Search Console um, and um, I use uh, SEMrush, um, but that's, um, that's really set up to, to track um, uh, key phrases. Um, Rather than the page, it's kind of set up that way. But you can you can uh, you, you can look at pages. Uh, you can pull the pages out or it filter on it. So yeah, there's two, uh, and there are lots of others. Yeah. All right. Um, anybody else? Okay. Let's um, move on from there. Um, Neil Cheeseman asked a question, it's titled, My Website Disappears in the UK. Um, Neil said, it's not a function I use very often, but if I click on Google search tools and, and select UK, then one particular website of mine, um, a WordPress site, disappears from the search engine results pages. What uh, would be causing that, and um, what can I do about it? Um, uh, and uh, he said it's also happening on incognito. Um, so the first thing uh, I would say is, oh, so he's actually checked because he's also looking at incognito. So it's actually not appearing live. Um, that's quite interesting. And if you do a site, a site query search in .co.uk, does it like no? That would appear because then that's. Hmm. Maybe you just. I, I just uh, found in the no, comments. Actually, I, I don't know. 
in 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 the comments tim um if you um uh, he said um hang on sorry i've got to go backwards now what the, I, I sorry about that I, I i clicked the the wrong button um uh so there was something talking about reg regulated products or something oh. he said he said he fa found it uh, somewhat bizarrely uh that the international targeting had been changed to us i had to find this on the new search console but found so resolved all right but now there's, that's weird there's uh, that's another um another thing that i might throw in which i'm I'm not sure uh, is this, but uh, something weird went on with one of my sites. Um, it's uh, this wasn't traffic, um, but it was uh, uh, it was getting more search impressions in uh, Malaysia than the than the UK uh, last week, um, and um, it seems to have uh, it seems to have sorted itself out. So maybe uh, maybe Google Search Console was having a bit of a funny turn last week, um, but um, yeah, you know it's it's not a place where you would expect there to to be lots of uh, uh, or more search impressions in the UK for for a UK based I, site. I find that quite interesting um, that geotargeting physically like did not show any of those pages in the UK. Uh, because, as I've said many times, my online ownership, I've specifically said to the UK, yet 70% of my traffic is US, um, then India, and then the UK. So, I find it Mm. Yeah, it sh I mean, <clears throat> international targeting shouldn't make the site invisible in other yeah, yeah. locales. So that explanation might not exactly be that. Mm. So that, that, that's an interesting thing to consider. Because you know, if then the site is now showing, then you could say at least, okay, having changed the international targeting, the site is back on the UK site, then you may be able to make the causal link. But otherwise, you know, that alone, I didn't think would explain the situation of, as it were, total disappearance. Mind you, Search Console has been having some uh, tough few months. Well, it's not a revenue yeah. straight, uh, imagine why why they wouldn't be so keen to fix it up anything that's wrong go ahead david yeah i, I just saying that that that's kind of why i didn't go too crazy about the uh, uh the huge number of impressions i was getting in i think it was malaysia um just because there's been so many comments about uh, google's uh, search console behaving strangely um i think ultimately you've well what i did was i i looked at traffic and traffic didn't seem to be uh any different uh not, not much difference and there didn't seem to be uh anything coming in from malaysia but then perhaps you wouldn't expect it um so okay Neil, let's let's throw back the question. Did 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 you see uh, did you see a collapse in traffic um, to go with this? Mm. So, you know, I do I do worry that this 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 is Google's search console being unreliable in some way, and uh, and we need to look at other sources to see what's actually going on rather than panicking about what google search console is saying totally agree 
I mean, I'm, I'm old, but if I were starting again, I wouldn't put any Google tagging at all on that, onto my pages. What a waste of time. Anyway, let's call that a wrap and uh, we'll move on to the next. Is it, everybody happy with that? Apparently. Okay, let's go to uh, Mike McAllis, APK, I'll say. Um, Google flags uh, HTTP sites as not secured. Um, well, that would be right. Um, HTTP sites not secure. That, that's correct. Uh, anyway, uh, he said, uh, McAllis said, uh, hi, everyone. I was wondering, since Google flags HTTP sites as not secured, if um, backlinks pointing to your site by these type of domains can hurt your site. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, has uh, any, any of you looked into that? Um, uh, any articles or case studies to share with me? Thanks in advance, um, McAllis. No, it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Uh, and the reason I say that um is because the reason they flag in them you know in google's sort of terms as https not is not secure <laughs> is is for the user um to be aware if they're exchanging any personal information via not a secure socket layer um the actual link through you know, um, for a user or whatever, or, you know, you've got, uh, you know, if these are coming from a non, um, from an HTTP site coming through to your site and the user follows through, Google should, in theory, be more relieved. So, you know, um, no, uh, I don't believe it would make any difference whatsoever. No, I, I, I think I agree. Um, I, I haven't seen any uh, any evidence of, of that. I haven't seen any uh, uh, anyone I trust saying otherwise in a convincing fashion. And I think that uh, Tim's uh, argument is, is, is quite good. I, I like that. How about that, Tim? I, I agreed with you. <laughs> All right. Okay, that well, that, that uh, um, lock puts a lock on number three on our run list. Let's um, have a look at number four. Uh, this one is from J. Alfavario. It's titled Promoting Individual Branches Nationwide. It's a vexed question. Um, he said, how would you market a .com with dozens of individual pages uh, that promote their individual branches nationwide. So, look, your your main the main site is obviously you know the main site's just talking about whatever service they provide, etc., um, etc., cetera, et cetera, and that's what those would be targeted at, you know, that's how you would market it. You'd be marketed as a brand and a service provider of X, Y, and Z. The locations would be the service plus location of that service. Um, I mean, that, 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 that's typically how you do it. Um, you know, so, you would be working on the overall brand and service uh, for your top line main site, whether that be outreach or promotional materials or whatever the case may be. And for the individual location pages, you would be using, um, you know, you could be using uh, different things. So obviously citations for those specific locations um services could be refined or more or more tailor-made you you know google posts 
obviously the the local local area um tie-ins with charities for that service in that location um uh, going back to pretty much sort of local seo for those actual locations but that's that's how it's separate it doesn't you know in a sense you're not separating in, in that because all of it's providing a service but with your top line it would be promoting your brand and the service whereas the location is the service and the location thank you tim all right is there anybody else okay let's go to number five on our run list Adam Hunt asks the question, how thin is too thin? We're building a mini site that collects together all of our favorite funny adverts from around the world, uh, partly to use as a mood board for new clients. As we uh, script exactly that, and partly uh, also uh, as an SEO project to reel in a few new clients uh, who were originally searching the web for inspiration. The current version is uh, here, um, HTTPS for Colin slash slash uh, white label comedy.com slash funny ads. Oh, God, I'm not going to read it all. Can be seen on the, um, uh, it can be seen on the uh, Dan Messier questions Facebook group. Um, it goes on to say, uh, but the posts that form the bulk of the archive really are just an embedded uh, YouTube video and 100 to 200 words uh, of um, copy. Will this get flagged as thin content and end up getting us penalised? Or seeing as we don't intend to get any individual advert to rank, but just the collections of them, will we be okay? I don't want to ask artificially inflate each listing. They are what they are. And if we add too much fluff, they'll stop being fit for purpose. But I also don't want to waste all this effort only to get ignored by Google because it doesn't like the way we've done things. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks all. Um, okay, so what was that freaking address um i've gone to this site because i um, um well you've got some weird loading page loading here anyway so i'm on the main page then recently added recently added adverts i uh, guess i click on one yeah Um, uh, okay, I don't think I'm, I'm, I think I'm looking at something different because um, these the ad itself um, has got quite a bit of content there. Uh, I can't see the ones that don't actually have uh, no content that you're talking about. Or is he talking about the actual main uh, landing page itself? Wow, man. Yo, uh, listen, every time I move to a different page on the site, your your page loads just weird. It shows up as this massive uh, background thing. Um, Why are you pondering on that, Tim? Mike Fisher Kirshner has just joined us. Uh, how are you, Mike? Hey, how's it going? How thin is too thin? Mm. I think I I don't per, like personally. I personally I don't think this is thin because yet your landing page, but it's providing links to the actual 
you know, the actual page itself, uh, where you do give a little bit of informational content there. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I don't really think this is too thin. Personally. No, he d he doesn't seem to be too too bothered about getting um, get getting traffic to these particular sites. If I read the question, uh, these particular pages. Um, if I read the question correctly, so I, I don't think these are thin. So I don't think if if um, um, if let's go back to there. If Adam um, is only concerned about um, the somehow being penalised rather than not pulling in loads of people. Uh, I don't think that's the problem, but I do worry, as Tim said, about what's actually going on, how these pages are loading and what, what, uh, what strangeness is going on. So, yeah, I, I, th I think you're okay. Uh, you're okay, Adam. I don't, I don't think they're gonna get, gonna get hammered, but you never know. Yeah, also, I, I, I don't think, um, I mean, Googlebot, um, it's not, not that Googlebot might say, oh, this, this is below a certain set of parameters and um, I'm going to punish it. it, it it's, 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 it's more like um, um, Googlebot is less interested in stuff that doesn't have... Uh, um, uh, it, 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 it doesn't um, fulfill some sort of uh, reason for its existence uh, by its nature. Is, it, is that making sense or am I dribbling again? You know, um, yeah, no, you, you, you're rambling again, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just thought, you know, some of these, like the big name ones, like um, the Ryan Reynolds, I, I mean, I love, I love his ads. Um, uh, that aviation gin one, you know, something like that. You have got quite a bit of content on that, mm. on that one. But what you could do is transcribe them, actually. So if somebody is actually trying to search, but they're not necessarily going to be um, uh, someone that would be cl like client based, that would just be someone literally you know searching for the adverts or things so do you really want to go and try and optimize the actual ad that you guys did um that's the other point because if you do you know if you really wanted to add additional copy onto those pages underneath your original scope you could say well this is and then you could transcribe the ad for them um which would provide uh, you know actual relevant copy but then again you you're going to be attracting more traffic from people that wouldn't ever convert. Okay. If there's no further comment, let's move on to the next. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, number six on our own list, uh, our last question for the day. Um, it's titled A Discrepancy Between Desktop Ranking and Mobile Ranking. Um, Neil said, uh, suggestions, anyone? Via Google Search Console, on the same page URL, there are two keywords, um, variations from the title and content, um, that are ranking around position seven on desktop search, um, but... Um, on mobile search, uh, while one ranks on seven, the other one ranks at 16. I'm curious to know what might be causing this, and uh, uh, a similar situation appears on many pages that uh, URL. Well, uh, since you mentioned it from Google Search Console, 
Um, Source Console's ranking data is purely based on uh, impressions. So what that means essentially is it's going to be an average of the impressions for people seeing you. Uh, Otherwise, uh, that data is not really going to show up. So what what that entails is that um, it may be that you have a low number of results um, of people seeing your site ranking, uh, say in position 16, uh, and not very many up higher on the page. Um, whereas on the other side of it, you may have a lot more set of data, and so you might have some 16 and much and many more in the higher uh, rankings. And so the averages uh, for that side is going to show up much higher because there's potentially more people seeing you. So that's that's kind of the downside a little bit of um, the use of rankings when it comes to coming out of out of Search Console. And that's just something to be aware of and why you're going to see discrepancies because it is purely based through people searching uh, for you on their specific devices. And that's not to say that there isn't differences and reasons beyond that, but this is just being specific to why you see that in Search Console. Excellent, Micah. All right. Um, I think um, that brings us uh, to a close for uh, this week. Um, we've answered uh, all of the questions asked uh, in the uh, Don Messier Questions Facebook group. I'd just like to thank uh, especially uh, people like uh, Brenda Michelin, uh, um, Richard Hearn, um, Michael Martinez, uh, and um, all of the other people who answered questions uh, through the week and, and make uh, Dumb SEO questions such a, a valuable uh, resource. Um, and of course, especially um, Tim Kappa, Micah Fisher Kirshner. Uh, David Razam and uh, Masataki Wasa um, for always appearing uh, um, like um, uh, clockwork every week. Um, and it's it, it's it's um, um, so much appreciated. All right. Um, okay. So um, if I can figure out which button to press, I'll I'll call this. Uh, meeting to a halt. Just bear with me one second.